What's up, Funages? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well, safe, and secure. Today we're going to be doing a supporting local restaurants video. It's been a while since I've done one, maybe about a month. I feel like here in Florida, at least in my county, they're going to start shutting restaurants down very soon from the... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know Miami has already pretty much shut down restaurants, gyms, and I think maybe beaches. I'm not sure about the beaches yet. Hopefully things get better than worse. I, I don't know. We, the world is crazy. And Florida is like the crazy part of the United States. Anyways, this should be a fun video. I'm going to two new places I haven't been to before, and they look very appetizing. I'm already salivating just thinking about it. But with that said, let's go ahead and get today's video started. How are you even in there? Oh, you look so comfortable. Oh, you look comfortable too. All right, I gotta go get food, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. And we got the food. It smells delicious. Oh yeah, it smells delicious. I had to take off the mask and I'm very excited about this. We got this from the Gem Eatery, which is a awesome mom and pop shop here in Margate, Florida. But we'll talk a little bit more about that at home. All right guys, so we have our breakfast and we are ready to eat. And let me tell you, this looks very, very delicious. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that breakfast is my favorite meal of the day just because of all the good foods that breakfast has to offer. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one first and then we'll open the other ones later. We'll keep these warm just in there. And this one, okay. Yeah. And this one I'm very, very excited to try because it is a stuffed French toast. One of my favorite breakfast items. And the stuffed cream portion of the French toast is strawberry flavored. And if I didn't already mention this, this is from Gem Eatery. I've been here on one other occasion, maybe about a year ago, and I was very impressed with the food that I ate. We're gonna go ahead and cut this open and go ahead and show you the insides of this bad boy. Look at the filling on the inside. That is beautiful, that is beautiful. Let's go ahead and eat this. Oh. Oh my lord. Wow is all I can say. Mm. I recently had French toast at the original House of Pancakes and I thought their stuffed French toast was okay, but this, this is a 10 out of 10. Wow, this is magnificent. They give you a lot of filling. If you can see that, there is a lot of filling in here and it is very, very scrumptious. Oh wow, so glad that I chose to go to Gem Eatery this morning. This restaurant is the definition of a mom and pop shop. The owner works there, the wife works there. They run it together and they do an amazing job at making their food. the perfect way to start breakfast. We have a savory part of this breakfast. This is a Western omelet with home fries and I will. So the Western omelet has green peppers, onions, cheese, and I think that's about it. I would take my grandma to breakfast at this local spot called the Bagel Hut and I would always get a Western omelet there. So I have an attachment to Western omelets. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. And we also have a side of salsa. So I'll dump this salsa on top of the Western omelet to give it that fresh taste. It, do, it doesn't, it really doesn't need the salsa, but since I have it, might as well use it. And we're done with the savory part of the meal. Now, this also came with an everything bagel. I love everything bagels, so I had to go ahead and cop this. I didn't get any cream cheese with the bagel, but luckily I have cream cheese inside of the fridge. The good old Philadelphia cream cheese in here. Ah. Okay, let's go ahead and taste their everything bagel. Mm. It's a little hard. So the flavoring is good, it's everything flavor, it's gonna be good, but the bagel is just over toasted a tad bit, it's edible. Mm. 
but I like the bagel a little softer. It's still good though. Clean this mess up. And lastly, for today's breakfast, well, actually, this is part one of breakfast. We have another portion of breakfast right after this. But oh my god, this right here is a cinnamon roll pancake. Look at it in all its glory. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, delectable, divine, magnificent. So this is an item that I've had before in the past. The first time I went to Gem Eatery because they highlight this beautiful breakfast item and I can see why it looks beautiful. So now it's time to just dig into this and give it a little taste to refresh my memory. Ooh. Oh my, oh my. Have I had this before? Wow, this is, I gotta give this like a 15 out of 10. This thing is fire. Mm. I gotta show you guys the inside of this. Holy guacamole. If you can see on the inside of the item, there is layers of the cinnamon glaze, the dark cinnamon glaze. And as you bite into this, you get punched in the face with that flavor, which is, this is a good punch in the face, at least in this instant. Mm. I didn't even mention of how moist it is on the inside, which makes it just melt in your mouth. And that concludes portion one of breakfast. I personally say that Gem Eatery is the best breakfast spot in my area for sure. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now we're just gonna swap over and eat our second portion of breakfast. This portion of the video is brought to you by Magic Spoon. And we're on to the second portion of breakfast with some Magic Spoon cereal. Pretty much fell in love with these past weeks. Okay, okay, okay. So this flavor is cocoa and I've actually already opened one box right here. Oh yeah. The next one we're gonna be pouring is gonna be the fruity. So I already have one opened up. I've actually gone through two of these boxes already and I'll tell you straight up, this is my favorite flavor right here. I just think it tastes really good, especially for only having a three grams of net carbs, 11 grams of protein, which is insane, and zero grams of sugar, which is also insane because the cereal tastes great. And for the third box, we have blueberry. I actually went through a whole box of this as well. Oh yeah. And lastly, we have frosted. And to go with my cereal, I'm gonna go ahead and use almond milk because we don't have regular milk. I can't remember the last time we had regular milk unless it was for a video. And the first one we're gonna be eating is fruity. It has different colors, yellow, turquoise, and red. Mm. And as I said, this is my favorite flavor right here. Magic Spoon sent me like three of each flavor. And I think these are my last four boxes right there. I gotta say, it's crazy that they can make cereal almost like a protein shake. When I say that, 
the macro wise because there's 11 grams of protein in the serving 110 calories three grams of net carbs and zero sugar for me that's almost the same macros as a protein shake so it normalizes eating cereal every day for me and magic spoon has pretty much made it possible for me to not feel i guess guilty because i do have to diet when i'm not doing cheat days or challenges and things like that so thank you magic spoon and the next cereal we're going with is going to be the bear reed now this is my second favorite i've had each one already because i eat this literally every day but blueberry and fruity are definitely my top picks Oops. And now that I'm eating blueberry again, this might be my top pick right here. Mm. They're pretty even. Mm. And next we have the frosted cereal. It's high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, GMO free, wheat free, naturally flavored, and it's totally delicious. The first time I actually heard of Magic Spoon was from Nick Dompierre. And if, just, just for fun, type in Magic Spoon in Google, and I think it's the funniest thing. You'll probably start receiving ads for Magic Spoon, and Nick Dompierre will show up on their ads. I thought that was the coolest thing. Shout out to Nick Dompierre. And for Frosted, I'm trying to think of something that reminds me of. Maybe like a glazed donut of some sort. I don't know, but the flavor is unique to me and I do enjoy it. And lastly, we have the Cocoa Magic Spoon. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate in general, like chocolate flavored anything, unless it's white chocolate. I don't know what it is. So even though I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, I do think this tastes good. I could definitely crush the whole box. And that was Magic Spoon. It's pretty crazy that they can make cereal with those macros taste good. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it for yourself today. And be sure to use promo code NATEFIGS at checkout to get free shipping or go to magicspoon.com slash NATEFIGS. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with 100% happiness guaranteed. And if you're not happy with the product, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So again, click the link below, use code NATEFIGS to get free shipping or go to magicspoon.com slash NATEFIGS. Thanks again, Magic Spoon. Oh man, it is so hot outside today. Oh, that hurts. I feel like I'm back in Las Vegas. So for our next meal, I told you we we're going to all locally owned restaurants. This place is called Franz Chicken. And I just found out about this place like a few days ago. My friend tagged me in it and the food looks delicious. Our next meal from friends chicken i got two meals one let me show you this looks fantastic and the moment i stepped in to the restaurant i already knew that this food was going to be good i haven't even tasted it and i know it's going to be fire so this is what we're working with this is chicken and waffles and let me tell you this smells beautiful so these are two massive chickens and I think there is bone in, which I don't mind. It's a little bit more work, but it's chicken and waffles. And then we have a massive side of syrup there. On top of this, we also have this right here, which is a chicken sandwich. And I'm not even gonna hold that. I'm gonna eat that after I eat the chicken and waffles. But look at how crazy that looks. Or maybe I'll show you the B-roll shots of it. That sauce on it. I don't even know what that is. Ooh, but it smells and stings the nostrils. I think it may be some barbecue sauce, something of that nature, because it has that tang smell to it. Don't even know how to dig into this. First, let's go ahead and try that chicken. The skin, oh man, that skin, that is extremely good. And I'm just eating the skin of the chicken. Now, I think it's gonna be impossible to actually eat the chicken with the waffles. So we're just gonna try to get a nice chunk of this chicken.
That is some juicy chicken. Who knew that chicken can be so damn good? And it has a sweetness to it. I would say this is better than KFC, Popeyes, or any fast food chain restaurant. All right, so that's one chicken down, but we have this bad boy right here. This is the massive piece. Look how thick that is. Look at that crispiness of the skin. Hmm. For the fried chicken spectrum, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I don't think there's any possible way to get a better fried chicken than this right here. So what I wish I had was like a plate to actually plate this so I can cut up the chicken and eat it with the waffles because I feel like if you're eating chicken and waffles, you want to eat the chicken with the waffles. All right. Even though I have the AC blasting, it is still hot out here. It always feels hotter when you're eating a good amount of food throughout the day. And now we can work on this waffle. They top that off to the very top. Holy cow. It's not spill syrup in there. There we go. Oh, oh, that flavor. Oh, I love this flavor. I think it's like vanilla. Maybe, I don't know. Half the waffle is done, but overall, when I include the chicken with the waffles, I would give this meal like a 10 out of 10. Best chicken and waffles that I've ever had. And that's all she wrote for chicken and waffles. So that was a fantastic meal. I just wanted the chicken sandwich because I've been on this chicken sandwich phase. I'm on the quest to find the best chicken sandwich in the world. We're just gonna dip right into this. Look how massive this is. Now I talked about how Popeyes gives you massive chicken. Well, these chickens aren't that massive, but they layer the sandwich with multiple pieces of chicken. I can probably count one, two. There's probably four chickens in this. Enough talking, let's just try this. I'm gonna need some wet wipes for this. Mm. Which I don't have, but I gotta get a few more bites of this to, get, to analyze it. The taste, the flavor, everything is great. I love the buns on top of it. It's crispy, it's nice, it's soft. I feel like the buns are perfect. However, as far as sauce on it, it is just so much sauce and then it becomes sticky in the hands. And for me, I like to have flavor in it enough to taste the sauce, but not overpowering. And I, I gotta tell you, the sauce is awesome. It's great, it's wonderful, but it is overpowering. And if they had just used less of it, I think this would be super fantastic. A nine out of 10, but because there's so much sauce in it, it makes it uncomfortable to eat. And for that fact, I give it a one out of 10. No, I'm just kidding. I give it like a seven. I'll give it a seven out of 10 because I think the flavoring of the sauce is great. Let's go ahead and finish this. And I'm not gonna eat the fries. Honestly, it's too hot in here to be eating. So I'm just gonna eat the sandwich and then we'll move on with the rest of the day. And we just got done eating the sandwich, though I forgot that this camera has a 30 minute time record limit and it stopped recording towards the end of the chicken sandwich. My apologies for that, 
I didn't eat the fries. I'm just kind of uncomfortable right now. Um, it's a little warm outside today. I already kind of complained about it earlier. It's like 96 or 97 here in Florida and it's humid. So those two don't mix well. So I might just save the fries for later. Just kind of put them in the fridge and save them. But that's going to be it for now. So I'll see you guys at the next meal. It's Reese's. Oreo and Reese's. Oh! Daily dose of puppies. So here is Reese's and here's Oreo. Mm. Some of you guys think it's gross that dogs kiss you on the lips. How is that gross? And for the last meal, and this looks fantastic. So I'm gonna go over this one really quickly. First of all, we picked up the food at Barron's La Pitaria in Margate, Florida. I drive past it all the time. So not sure why I haven't had it, but they have a very extensive menu. It's actually overwhelming. And I didn't want any pizza. I just wanted to do something a little different. So I've never had raviolis on this channel ever. This is the first time me eating raviolis for you guys. And these look fantastic. It kind of looks like a pizza if you just look at it or maybe like a chicken Parmesan. And then we have this wonderful stromboli. I don't even know what flavor I picked. I just saw stromboli. I clicked it and I ordered it. So we're gonna find out the flavor together. Never had a stromboli on the channel other than a challenge. I think I've done, I think two stromboli challenges in the past, but this is the first one I'm eating non-challenge. And we're gonna dig into these raviolis. So it looks like we have four raviolis on this plate. It's layered with mozzarella cheese or parmesan cheese i'm gonna guess mozzarella if this was like fresh we would get a beautiful cheese bowl but unfortunately it's about i want to say 25 minutes old it's not that old but here we go let's try this out mm. And I gotta say the ravioli is delicious. It is stuffed with ricotta cheese. And I'm thinking one of these days I should make a massive ravioli. I mean like this big and eat it. That would be fun. Let me know in the comment section. I would give that a nine out of 10. Mm. I don't really have pasta much on this channel. I usually gravitate to like pizza, fast food, things like that, but I love the switch up. Ravioli, hmm, gotta include that more. Zoom in just a tad bit. One of the sides that the ravioli came with is this. It's, it's like an orange, oh, it's soup, I think. Mm. it's actually pretty good. Mm. it's like a vegetable soup. Now onto this bad boy. Um, it is pretty hefty. I thought like the calzone was maybe gonna be like half this size. This could potentially feed like three people or two people or just one person, me. Okay, let's dissect this, see what's in there. It looks to be chicken, maybe some ham, uh, some pepperoni. I think the stromboli is fire. Oh, look, I'm getting a cheese pull. Not a crazy one, but nonetheless, the cheese bowl. And now it makes it easier to eat. And a tomato sauce or marinara sauce goes well with this stromboli. The stromboli seems to be filled with more vegetables than meat. I don't have an issue with that. I think it's good overall. I'm kind of over meat for the day. Or you know what would be cool to make? A massive stromboli, like a six pound stromboli. That would be fun to make. Maybe one of these days.
And we have the last piece of the Stromboli. I'd give this an eight out of 10. And also shout out to La Pizzeria for being a cool Italian restaurant. Near my house too. So I think Livy, we should go there one of these days because they get a lot of dinner menu stuff. Bon appetit to the last piece. Hi Reese's. And that's gonna be it for the food today. All the food was fantastic today, especially breakfast. Gem Eatery is a gem in itself. Definitely need to explore that menu and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Reese's, oh, you wanna clean my mouth up? I hope you guys are doing well and being safe out there. Smash the like button. Uh, thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.